I thought that mothers is a word that looks good big. Mothers are probably the most important people. I've made a few works which use uh, words, like make, trying to make a word into a sculpture. And I think it's really difficult to decide how big a word should be, because if you think of the, the meaning of a word is there, whether it's small or big. But I reckon mothers should be big. And, uh, and this, this uh, spins round as well, sort of big and out of control, you know. I, I kind of grew up near Glasgow and I've always kind of lived pretty much in the city. I moved to Italy to, to, um, to try and get away from the city a bit and I go to this place in Italy which is very remote to, to work and, um, quietly. But actually, I've been spending more and more time back in London. I think if I had to choose between the city and the country, I would always choose the city. Because of the people and the crazy mixed up mixture, you know. I've just been working more and more on kind of music and live shows and the dance stuff I've been doing as well. Because I think that life is a big sort of soup of um, words and noises and things you see and feelings and it's just difficult to kind of separate them. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I should concentrate on trying to move better rather than trying to make something, you know. Because everything that you do involves moving your body. To make a painting, you have to move your body. If you take away the painting and just try and move your body, you know, effectively then it's like a dance or something like that. In a way, that's what the songs and pieces of music are, like trying to make noises directly. Because you, you can't listen to something without seeing something. You know, even if you close your eyes, you know, you're seeing black or whatever. And you can't look at things without hearing things. And this little song, Thinking, Not Thinking, was, I was trying to write and trying to describe my um, experience of life. I was thinking, and then I wasn't thinking. When I was at school, my teacher, my English teacher, I really liked them so they were quite an inspiration and they were really into Ernest Hemingway and also George Bernard Shaw and Hemingway I think has always been a big inspiration to me trying to keep things simple since going to art school you know I've been trying to make these things that are separate from me that I can look at which maybe help me in my life because I think oh yeah ah oh, that's it's like something to hold on to. I think one of the best pieces of advice I felt like I've ever been given, I was really torn between some difficult things and this guy said to me, if you don't know what to do, don't do anything. The problem with that kind of theory is that applying it to a situation like this is, is more difficult because I do feel quite a lot of pressure to um, put something here for people to look at because we're having a show and we're doing adverts and stuff like that, you know. I feel I should try to put something on show, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Aye.